Good day, kids. I'm glad you're here. Welcome to our virtual class in English Grade 3. I'm your teacher, Sheila, and I will be with you as you go through Module 2 of Third Quarter of English. See the difference. As you grow up, you will remember thousands of words that you can use in writing sentences and paragraphs. The words you learn can also be used in talking to your classmates and friends. You will observe that there are words that have the same pronunciation but different spelling, and there are words that have the same spelling but different pronunciation. You can use those words in a sentence correctly if you know the right meaning. At the end of this module, you should be able to define homographs. Before we'll start, make sure you are ready with your learning module, your pencil, your paper, or your notebook. Are you now ready? Let's check first what you already know about today's topic. Read each sentence carefully and choose the correct meaning of the underlined word based on how it is used in the sentence. Write the letter of your choice on your answer sheet. I will give you 5 seconds to answer each item. Number 1 I read the English book given by my teacher. The underlined word is read. What's the meaning of read based on how it is used in the sentence? A. To deliver aloud the printed or written words. B. A book or a novel. C. Act of singing. You have five seconds to answer. Now let's check. Is your answer letter A? Then you're right. Number two. The class bows before the crowd after the performance. The underlined word is bows. What's the meaning of bows based on how it is used in the sentence? Is it A, the front of a boat, B, to bend, or letter C, rope to tie? You have five seconds to answer. Now let's check. Is your answer letter B? You're correct. Number 3. I saw a minute creature. The underlined word is minute. What's the meaning of minute based on how it is used in the sentence? Is it A. 60 seconds B. Tiny Or letter C. Worm You have 5 seconds to answer. Now let's check. Is your answer letter B? Nice going! Number 4. Leia tears the hem of her skirt. The underlined word is tears. What's the meaning of tears based on how is it used in the sentence? Is it letter A to weep? Letter B to separate parts? Or letter C to laugh? You have five seconds to answer.
Now let's check. Is your answer letter B? That's good. Number five. Teachers train their pupils in writing. The underlined word is train. What is the meaning of train in this sentence? A. A line of railroad cars. Or letter B. To teach. Letter C. To recite. You have five seconds to answer. Let's check. Is your answer letter B? Exactly right. Did you get all the answers perfectly? That's great. You could use this lesson to enhance what you already know. But if you have mistakes on some or several items, don't worry. This lesson will help you learn more. Lesson 1. Homographs. What's in? On this first activity, we will review on homonyms. Choose the correct spelling of the word which will complete each sentence. Now, get your pen or your pencil and write your answers on a sheet of paper. You will be given 5 seconds to answer each item. Are you ready? Great! Number 1. Nadine loves the scent, scent of the perfume. What is the correct spelling? Your timer starts now. Number two. What kind of cereal, cereal, do you like for breakfast? What is the correct spelling of the word cereal for that sentence? You have five seconds to answer. Number three, the large bear, bear, climbed the tree. What is the correct spelling of the word bear? You have five seconds to answer. Number four, she ate, ate the bread last night. What is the correct spelling? Now, let's check your answers. Number one, the correct answer is scent, spelled as S-C-E-N-T, scent. Number two, cereal, C-E-R-E-A-L, cereal. Number three, bear, B-E-A-R, bear. And number four, eight, A-T-E, eight. What's new? In this activity, you are going to read the sentences in each item and choose the correct word to complete them. Choose your answers from the oval above and write them on your paper. You will be given 30 seconds to answer the five items. Let's start! Here are the five words in the oval. Number one. Number two. Number 
Number three. Number four. And number five. Now, you have 30 seconds to write your answers on your paper. Now, it's time to check your answers. Number one, bass. Number two, bat. Number three, bows. Number four, content. Number five, tears. Did you get all the answers right? I knew you could do it. So, what is it? In the past activity, you notice that each word has multiple meanings. These words are what we call homographs. Homographs are a pair of words that have the same spelling but with different meanings. Homo means the same. Graph has something to do with writing or drawing. So, homographs means the same writing. They may or may not be pronounced the same way, but they are spelled the same. Let's take a look at the next examples. This is a picture of a bank. It is where people keep their money. This is also called a bank. It is a raised area or ground at the edge of a river or lake. Bank and bank are homographs. They are spelled the same but with different meanings. Another pair of homographs is bass and bass. Notice that although they are spelled the same, they are pronounced differently. The first which refers to a fish, is read as bass. The second one, referring to a musical instrument, is read as bass. Bass and bass are homographs. They are spelled the same, but they have different meanings. The next pair of homographs is tear and tear. They are spelled the same but are pronounced differently and they have different meaning. When something is pulled into two pieces or pulled so that a hole appears in it, the action is called tear, just like what is shown in the first picture. Tear. It sounds like air. Tear. The second word refer to a drop of salty liquid that comes out of someone's eyes when one is crying. This word is pronounced as tear, just like ear, tear. Tear and tear are homographs. They are spelled the same, but they have different meaning and they are pronounced differently. Another pair of homographs is bow and bow. The first picture shows the front of a boat called bow. It could also be a front of a ship. The second picture shows bending one's body to show respect. It's bow. Bow, the part of a boat or ship, and bow to show respect are homographs. They are spelled the same, 
but they have different meanings. Another homographs are minute and minute. Minute means tiny or little, just like what you can see on the picture. It is a minute or a tiny mouse smaller than a thumb. The second word is pronounced as minute, referring to a period equal to 60 seconds. It is referring to a time. Minute or tiny and minute, a period of time, are homographs. They are spelled the same but have different meanings. Do you know other examples of homographs? Be sure to know their meanings and use them in sentences correctly. What's more? In this activity, you are going to read the word and its meaning. Choose the sentence that uses the word correctly according to the given meaning. Write the letter of the correct answer on your answer sheet. You will be given 5 seconds to answer each item. Are you ready? Let's go! Number 1. Bow to bend at the waist. A. After the performance, the group took a bow. B. The fisherman tied a rope into a bow. You have five seconds. Number two. Present. A gift. A. She is present today in school. B. I want to buy a birthday present for my mom. You have five seconds to answer. Number three, bat, a piece of sporting equipment used in baseball. A, I want to hit that ball with a bat. B, Myra saw a bat in the forest. You have five seconds to answer. Number four, watch to look. A, Erica likes to watch her favorite noontime show. B, my mother bought me a watch. You have five seconds to answer. Number five, fine, feel good. A. There is a fine in not obeying the rules. B. I am fine with that decision. You have five seconds to answer. Now it's time to check your answers. Number one. A. Number 2. B. Number 3. A. Number 4. A. And number 5. B. Did you get all the answers correctly? Wonderful! Let's check what you have learned. Complete the paragraph by filling in the blanks with the correct answer. Choose your answers from the list of words inside the oval. Write it on your answer sheet. You will be given 30 seconds to complete the answers. The words inside the oval are meanings, homographs, words, same and different. Complete this paragraph. You have 30 seconds to answer.
Now it's time to check your answers. Number one, homonyms. Number two, words. Number three, same. Number four, different. Number five, meanings. Are all your answers correct? That's the way to do it. What you can do In this activity, you are going to choose the sentence that best fits the picture given on each item. Write the letter only. You will be given 5 seconds to answer each item. Number 1 A B You have 5 seconds to answer. Number 2 A B 5 seconds to answer. Number 3 A B 5 seconds to answer. Number 4 A B You have 5 seconds to answer. Number 5 A B You have 5 seconds to answer. Time to check your answers. Number 1 A Number 2 B Number 3 A Number 4 B And number 5 B Did you get all the answers? You're really working hard today. Good job! You have been practicing very well. Now, it's time for assessment. Draw a happy face inside the box if each set of words are homographs and a sad face if it is not. Are you ready? Number 1 Number 2 Number 3 Number four. And number five. Now let's check your answers. Number 1 Scent and scent spelled differently 
are not homographs, so it's a sad face. Number two, bat and bat are homographs. Number three, bow and bow are homographs. Number four, pale and pale are not homographs. And number five, eight and eight are not homographs. Did you get a perfect score? Congratulations! You did everything so well! That's all for today, kids. See you again on our next virtual class. Have a great day!